so first we will prepare the uh, frame so for that we will have two plates here you can see there are two plates one in the bottom one in the top so you can see this is the top plate and this is the bottom plate so we need to place these arms okay so like this you can see then you will place the top plate okay like that you will have one arm here one arm here one arm here so so to keep this uh, arm in place what we need to do is uh, we need to use these screws okay with the nut so like this we have to place four you can see here four here four and here four and here four like that so we will place like this okay you can see so this will go through these two plates and uh, in the bottom you can see so this is where you will place the nut in the bottom yes. like this So like this, like this. So we need to add one, two, three, like total four. So to keep this two things, what we need, we need. Okay. So before before we place this plate, first what we need to do, we need to place the stand up here. Okay. Before we place this one on top of this, what we need, we need to place the stand up. You can see one here, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. four. Again here one, two, three, four. Like total eight. So like this uh, we need to place both sides like each side it is like a four okay first uh, what i will do i will place the standoff on top of this plate after that i will place the plate on all these arms then i will add screws and nut to tighten the arms so i will add all the standoffs and i will add all screws and nuts then i'll be back this plate will come on top of so i will assemble this then i'll be back so i place the standoff so now i will place the arms in between these two plates okay so it's very simple just like one by one i'll just show you one arm rest i will do it then i'll be back So like this, I will do it for all arms, then I will be back. So now this frame is ready. So now we need to place the motors on every arm. So uh, you can see here. Okay. So I already soldered a motor wire with ESC. It's very simple connection. So no need to change anything here. Just connect this three wires with these three wires there is no need of a shuffle okay you can see here you just connect these three wires with these three wires uh, why i'm connecting as it is here is like see these motors we have two sets of motors 
see one is rotating clockwise another one is rotating you know counter clockwise it's designed in such a way like if you connect as it is it will rotate in this particular direction so we don't need to change any you know wires here so because it is designed for you know uh, default it's designed for rotating clockwise and this one is designed for counterclockwise so we want same rotation so you just connect these three wires you know, with this motor okay so like that so this is the motor layout we need to follow so this is the front of the um, quadcopter so the order should be like this motor 4 will be here motor 2 will be here motor 1 will be here motor 3 will be here so the direction of the motors you can see this is like a counterclockwise counterclockwise means we need to use this motor you can see here this is counterclockwise okay so the number 2 is a counterclockwise that means we have to use the red cap you can see this red color nut you can see you now this motor we have to play for the motor 4 we need to use counter clock uh, clockwise so you need to use this clockwise the black one is the clockwise so we need to place this motor and uh, the one motor one again it's a clockwise motor so same same black motor like this there same motor 3 also it is a you can see here it is a counter clock so that motor okay so now what I will do is I will mount these motors on the arms with the help of screws with the help of these screws I will use these screws and I will mount. Okay. Next, the order is the same. Like in this bit, we need to mount. Okay, so you can see the holes. Yes, you can place the motor and it will mount. Okay, so like this. So it's very clear. You can see four and one is a clockwise motors, and two and three is a counter clockwise motor so in this way i will mount my motors then i'll be back So I have been, uh, no, I attached all the motors to the arms. So now everything is ready. In the next video, we'll see uh, how to connect this these motors, ESCs, you know, uh, to power distribution board and also uh, connect to flight controller board. That we'll see in the next video. Okay.